Good morning, everybody. Welcome to the Venora Engadin Wind by Dekine Day 3. Sun is shining, a little bit of cloud. The thermal winds are starting to kick in. Riders are getting ready. You already can see a few of them getting out there to test as we're going to be starting off with the losers final of the men. Wind was a little bit funky at the beginning of the day. We had quite a few general recalls, but as soon as that thermal kicked in, wind started blowing and racing was on. Watch me now. Roll like thunder, gonna shake the ground. Can't stop me now. I don't give up and I won't back down. I'm a force of nature, can't be contained. I got lightning running all through my veins. Watch me now. Watch me now. For the ladies, Olivia Piana was dominating throughout the whole competition. We did the third round and the fourth round pretty much 100 meters ahead of the rest of the fleet. You can really see the racing discipline, the racing knowledge this veteran has and taking the win here in this competition. As it comes to the under 16s, Riccardo Zorzi, the young Italian, we've seen him on the freestyle, but this kid also can race. Here in the fourth elimination, adding that little pump section, you can really see handing in the conditions well, had a good strategy, had a good tactic, and taking it home. On the under 19 discipline, we saw Benjamin Mai. He really was ahead of the pack. He has the tactics. We could see him grabbing the speed, always up on the fall. And then when it came to the pumping, there was no stopping this kid. That's why he has claimed himself champion this season. Watch me now. Moving over to the Masters, taking it home was Klaas Vogel. Coming from a big racing windsurfing background, you can see the tactic this guy has. Battling it out with Craig and with Hanging. It was tie for tie, neck for neck in the middle section of the race. But when it came to that upwind leg, you can really see the technique of the German rider. And that is why he has claimed himself champion here. For the men's open here of the European Championship, day number three, Francesco Capuso was ahead of the pack. When it came to going downwind or going upwind, this guy was on it. He had the right tactic, had the right equipment, and that is why he took elimination number three and elimination number four. Also in elimination number four, we added the pump track. What does that mean? 50 meters before the finish, they had to grab the neutral handle and use the power of their legs to be able to go across the finish line, adding that little element of surprise at the end here of the competition. So congratulations, Francesco Capuso, taking first position. Watch me now. I'm gonna save the ground Can't stop me now I don't give up and I won't back down I'm It's been an amazing three days of competition here at the Venora Engadin Wim by Dekine in this beautiful location of the St. Moritz Lake the scenery, the people, the vibe, you can just feel the water sports nature. We've had racing, we've had freestyle, we've had spins, we've had speed. It has been such an impressive event and we can't wait to be back here next year. Hey!